today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to make this awesome cross studded sweatshirt and also an ombre sweatshirt. So all of our supplies we got from Value Village. Except for the studs, we got them from Hobby Lobby for a dollar and 67 cents. There's yeah. 28 in each packet and you need about two and a half. And it's super cheap to make. And we got this idea from Andrea's Choice, so we will link her video down below. She's so cool and she's super so gorgeous. So cool, yeah. And um, we just had a really fun time making this. It does take a long time to make and a lot of effort, but the outcome, I mean, come on. It's so worth it. I so wore it to school it. and I got tons yeah, of Yeah, we both did. And it's just like, so cute. Mine's like the same thing, but it's light blue for the sweatshirt, and then it has um, cheetah print for the cross. Yeah, and um, I have a thicker cross, and she has a skinnier cross, but whichever way you do it, it's gonna look cute. Yeah, so let's get right into the video. I just used a plain white crew neck from Walmart. I chose purple fabric dye. I got this from Michaels. Start by boiling a gallon of water on high. And once it's boiling, you can take it out and put it into a pan. So here I just added in some salt and this will really help lock in all the color. So I didn't really measure about how much I dye I put into it, but I'd just say start off with a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take your sweatshirt and I'm going to fold it in half and should I do the sleeves too or? No, I'd wait to do the sleeves separate. Okay. And this is kind of a smaller pan so we use the spoon to kind of even it out a little bit. Coming up you'll see me fold it again. That just helps make it more even. And for the first layer, I went up to about a little bit below the armpit. So then, now I'm just going to lay this on another bucket and add some more um, dye and stir it. Okay. And then now I'm not going to dip. Um, as much in as I did before. That's like a perfect amount. I know. So be careful not to go over it. Add some more in. And don't dip it as far. <laughs> And then I just continued the same process. For the sleeves, we just took the darkest dye and dipped it in evenly. So then we just left the sleeves and the bottom of the sweatshirt in the dye for a while. And then after about a half an hour, we took it out to dry for the night. And as you can tell, it came out with some spots on the ombre. This is why I'm not actually going to put the studs on the sweatshirt. I'm going to be redoing the ombre and that is why in the beginning of the video I said to flip it inside out and that will make it so it doesn't have these marks on it. But if you're not as picky as I am then you can go ahead and stud them. So I'm just placing the studs two fingers apart to measure them so they're equal. So these are the studs that we use for both sweatshirts and we got them from Hobby Lobby. So we forgot to save all of the tags to show you guys how much it costs, but I'm thinking that this shirt was around $5. This one was a sweater that was about seven dollars so as you can see I cut the bottom of the sweater off and the back off so here I just took my phone and traced the cross with it so make sure you're tracing on the back of your fabric or else everyone will be able to see your marks that you're making <laughs> and then once you're done tracing it you can cut it out 
so this is the glue that we're going to be using. It's kind of like tape and this is the package that it came in. The lady said that it was the best kind of glue around. So I've already done the very tip of the cross as you can see there. So what you're going to want to do is place it exactly where you want it to make sure you're doing it in the right spot and flip it over and then you're going to want to measure out. Um, I'm going to do a strip right there and a strip right there. And then just cut it. And then just measure them out so they're the same. And place, this is the glue side and this is the um, paper side. So place the glue side down and the paper side up. And then when you think you have it where you want it, you're gonna take your iron and press down on it for about, I'd say three seconds. You're gonna peel off the paper. And I, before I do this, I just put my shirt over it to make it so the glue stays down. And then now I'm gonna peel off the paper. those tattoos that we used to have um, when we were kids you have to make sure that it is sticking on before you peel off so you can see that the glue is on there in the light you can kind of see the reflection so the glue is on there so you can go ahead and peel it off and then let's check if this one is ready yeah and it is yeah and then now I always just replace it so I know that I'm doing it in the right spot. As you can see, the colors together are very cute. <laughs> and then now that you have it placed where you want it, you're going to take your iron. And this time, hold it on there for about 8 seconds. And then again, I just take my sleeve and just go like that to make sure that the glue stays on the material. And just continue this process throughout all of the cross. So when you poke this stud in, you wanna make sure that you're grabbing the sweatshirt fabric and the cross fabric. That will make it hold a lot better. So stick the stud in and press it down and then in the stud with a butter knife. And now you're finished. So I hope you guys all enjoyed our tutorial and definitely make sure to try this out for yourself. It is so fun. And thank you all so much for subscribing. We're almost to 100 subscribers. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Um, that would be super awesome. Share this with your friends. As she said, we're almost to 100 and thanks for the support. Um, Check out all of our other videos. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Huh?